Hello, welcome to my sanctuary. I am Cristela with Love and Light. I will be sending a message from the universe. Today, we will be asking the light to enlighten us about what is hidden to us, you know. So, uh, first of all, what you should know about me is that my psychic abilities manifest with visions and declarations. They appear on their own and the cards are just for visual purposes, but of course, they are still a big help to unlock answers. I will try to read them as best as possible because they are your cards. This is a general reading, so take in what only resonates. So what I want you to do is to look at these cards and see what draws you in the most to help you choose. This one is a ring with stones. The second one has love and infinity. The third one is made out of stones. So I want you to meditate and trust your gut feeling. So before we start, let's ask for a blessing. Divine love and light, please help me receive and understand the messages of the cards clearly for the highest good of all. I give thanks and gratitude for your guidance and protection. Okay, to start the reading, let's move this. If you chose this ring, this would be your reading. So I haven't seen the cards, so we're gonna look at them for the first time. So it's supposed to be just five cards, but you got an extra card. This one flew up. So yeah, we're gonna start the reading. Take a break. So I want you to imagine yourself as Alice because this is the through the looking glass spread. And then we also had another extra card that we will open later. I think it's a clarification and an extra hidden thing that the universe wants you to reveal to you. It just flew out when I'm shuffling cards a while ago. And uh, yeah, let's start. So this card represents your hidden emotion. You know, what you hide to others or yourself. You've got the keepers of the earth. It says you are not alone. An ancient ancestors be stand beside you. Hidden emotions are repressed and pushed aside, and they are waiting for you to deal with it on the right time. So the way I see it is that you feel very alone. You know, you feel the loneliness in you. Maybe pe maybe people think that you had it all figured out, that you can do it on your own, you can stand on your own. But deep inside, you really need to be helped or saved. And people overlook that. And maybe you are a responsible person and you don't want people to see you crack or, you know, you are a pillar. I, I think people depend on you, people uh, expect you to be strong, but deep inside you are really, you really feel like you're not that supported, you feel alone, you think that you can't do it, you can't do something and you're gonna fail. I can see that failure is your biggest weakness, your, your biggest fear. And that you really, uh, you really feel like dying inside because you feel like you can do this thing this time, 
However, the universe wants you to know that you are not alone and the keepers of the earth are here for you. You can surrender all your worries and fear to them. You can just you can really ask them for help because they are there to lend you a hand. You know? So yeah, those are your hidden emotions. The second card represents your hidden motivators. You know? Why? Why why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you feeling this way? Uh, why are you choosing what you're choosing? And... You know, this just represents your overall desire because this is your hidden motivator. So you got the card, take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So yeah, because you're really responsible. You've been really working hard. You know, the way I see it. Your hidden motivator is to finally take a break. Um, maybe after this really difficult challenge for you, maybe after this work, maybe you can finally take a rest. You want that uh, long overdue vacation. You feel like you've been working hard for a long time, you know, for the longest time. And uh, it's time for you to, you know, take a rest, stop, breathe. Because you deserve it, you know. It's a wonderful motivator, you know, to finally take a rest. Because every people wants that. Every people who have been working hard and responsible enough. That's just what they really want to finally get that peace. After the, you know, dealing with the fast-paced world. And it's beautiful. And I want you to know, I want you to see this as a goal because your soul really needs it i can i can hear your soul crying for a break <laughs> you finally finally need to get this well-deserved rest okay our third card represents your hidden your hidden thoughts you know what is suppressed in your subconscious well, this is just gonna be a gentle reminder because they are already your thoughts. However, you're not, you're not that aware of them, or you're keeping them inside. This will be, this is the other side of the looking glass. Something that is yet to be seen, because it's not, it's not just reflecting, like the other cards, you know. So you got the card, Imrama. Where are you being? called to journey to Im, imrama is the celtic word for journey of the soul so apparently you're you are being called to do a journey and you want to go on an adventure you feel like you have to be somewhere you know instead of working hard for this responsibility that you have uh, it's an a spontaneous adventure that your soul wants to do. Maybe you want to have soul searching. Um, however, you can't. And But your soul really wants to have an adventure. So, what you need to do is to maybe accept these or, you know, release these thoughts. Maybe you don't really need these thoughts. However, I advise you to keep them embrace and empower them because you really need that to nourish your soul uh maybe you know you can you can if you cannot uh journey if you cannot travel physically you can just travel in another world through the books you know you can you can watch movies there are fictional universes that you can travel to and of course you can very well read books to travel to another world and do it in your free time so that it will also count as taking a break because you really need that now we have the uh, card that will represent your physical needs 
you know, what you need to do for your well-being. You got the card, get grounded. Oh my god, this is such a direct answer. So, it says to get grounded. You are an empath, you're highly sensitive and connect with nature. Maybe this responsibility or job that you have requires you to be with people, you know, socially. It's socially draining for you. Maybe, uh... Or maybe you're just naturally an empath and you can't help but uh, sympathize with people, you know, empathize with them. You're, you're, or maybe you're just a highly sensitive person. You can't help your emotions. That's why it's draining you and you feel like you can't, uh, you can't afford a failure, you know, because people are expecting you to be strong and there's this immense pressure on you but you know that you're guided and that you need to take a break and your soul is being asked to travel to somewhere now to help you with your physical well-being uh, you can really just travel along your community you know because this card requires you to travel barefoot on earth you know you can how do you personally connect with nature you know there's there's so many ways maybe buy a plant grow them take care of them or visit other uh, uh, tourist attractions with very beautiful nature you know it's just really easy but it's gonna be a deep healing for you your body and soul needs that so for the last card we have the, the one that will represent your hidden spiritual desires so it is what your soul wants you to know but it has been unable to tell you because of course it's difficult to tell something if you are in another dimension and we, ha we got the initiation card Rite of passage, crossing the threshold. So, in this initiation card, only only the initiated can enter, and uh, with whatever you're meant to do, your soul wants you to know that you are being just tested, and that. Your worries aren't nothing, your fear aren't nothing. However, your soul wants you to know that you are being tested and that you have to face your fears to be successful, you know, to achieve this, the thing that you wanted the most, and then you can have your well-deserved rest. If you manage to overcome this rite of passage, you know, that means you are eligible enough to to this life that you deserve okay now let us see your extra card what does it says your extra card is share your voice come out of the cave persecution and expression so maybe what you are meant to do is related to voicing out an idea, an expression. Mm, maybe you've got something to say. Maybe you have this fear of, you know, people not accepting your ideas because you're in a cave and uh, you're afraid that it will be unappreciated by people even though you appreciate your work however you need to test the waters you have to risk it you feel so afraid to share it to the world because this is a message that is dear to your heart 
you know it's the message that is long to be shared but you don't have to fear the keepers of the earth are there for you and you are not alone and you know the world needs your unique tone so you can either speak up through writing singing poetry you know i don't know use your creative side i can tell that you're really creative maybe an art painting you can do whatever you want to express yourself and you know the universe will hear you maybe it's related to your journey you know you're being called to share your voice i can tell so yeah let's maybe let's ask for more you know, for fun message from the universe One, two, three. whatever pops out is your message i can tell we have a winner hmm mostly letters so let's ask her more still mostly letters but it's better than nothing so we got the Z we got the U look out for the letters because maybe there's a word that is being made we, we have a lot of E. What does it mean? I don't know. We have an I, Z, U, and E. Then this reading is for you. We got the escape, the ordinary. Well, maybe you're gonna be really unique with how you express yourself. I can tell. So we got this... Uh, white tile you know white blank tile what i can tell with this is that you're gonna have a clear mindset maybe not now but soon enough now we've got the shock card hmm. things will shock you that maybe you don't realize that people are there supporting for you maybe there's a surprise you know a good kind of surprise that will bring that the universe will bring to you okay dream you're following your dreams if you're following your dreams then you're on the right path see you have to walk unafraid you don't need to be afraid because you are supported by the keepers of the earth the universe okay use it up wear it out make it do or do without yep do what you have to do use your resources whatever it is that you need to you have to oh it's in and yang if you have okay from presently your mind is clouded However, you're gonna ha have a clear, oops, you're gonna have a clear, uh, unclouded mind soon enough. And maybe it's choices, you know. There's a bad side and there's a good side. Yin and yang. So you have to be careful. So yeah, this is your message and I hope this message finds you well make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching see you soon for those who pick this love and infinity ring pile two here is your reading uh, out of all the pile you were the most difficult one to appear i don't know why maybe 
the messages want to stay hidden, you know, but after shuffling it for so long, these cards appeared, so I want you to imagine yourself as Alice, you know, Alice through the, because this is a through the looking glass spread, you know, these are hidden messages that we are going to uncover. Now, I haven't seen the cards. Now, we're both going to see it for the first time. So, I want you to look at your cards. Meditate on them. Accept them. Take a deep breath. Uh, maybe there are direct messages that I won't be able to pick up. After all, this is a general reading. Okay. Okay, so the first card will represent your hidden emotions. You know, what you hide to yourself or to others. And these are emotions that are put aside or repressed. And yeah, I can tell that... You are a serious person. Maybe the situation needed you to be, you know, because you got the card play. It says have fun, celebrate, don't be so, don't be so serious. So this is a direct card. You are repressing your playful emotions, your, I know, your happy-go-lucky side are being hidden. You are maybe in a serious mode or maybe life drains you out. There's not much time to play. You haven't been given the opportunity to uh, celebrate things, uh, play, or have that good time. You know, you've been robbed of, of having the reward that you needed the most but you know you need to have fun you need to have more play because being being happy and doing what makes you laugh doing whatever you're passionate about you know that you're having a good time and you are spending time doing it because you love it it will give you more of inspiration that you need in life you know stop being so serious because being your true self or suppressing your true self will not give you the benefits in the long run so yeah these are your emotions that you need to uh, consider because it is for your own good now now the second card will represent as your hidden motivator you know why are you doing what you're doing why are you feeling this why are you choosing to do this this just represents your overall desire so you got the soul family it says call in your tribe you don't have to do it alone so your hidden motivator is that you want to be supported by other people you don't feel like others are accepting or recognizing what you do your efforts or perhaps you're doing it for someone because someone that you call a soul family i can tell that you really want to be supported by other or support others and it's a really beautiful kind of motivation you know to serve others to help others and to be served um, unconditionally because soul family is risking yourself for others despite it being your blood or not risking it all because of that good connection that you have with others your relationship and it's really a beautiful thing to have a wonderful connection and relationship with others that is your motivator 
and I hope you can hold on to it until the end because I can tell that you're a really good friend, a comrade, or you know, someone really someone that people can rely into. Maybe that's why you're a bit serious. But do realize that people prefer you to choose your happy self. You shine so brightly in that way and you you inspire people if you're choosing to be your genuine self, you know. It inspires people to be happy as well. Okay, so we have this third card. It will represent your hidden thoughts, you know. This is the other side of the looking glass. Unlike these other cards, it's not as uh subtle because after all these are suppressed in your subconscious so what you need to do is to either choose to embrace this or release it so you got the card protection it says call back your power cut the cord soul retrieval i can tell that you want to cut something off you know for your own good Th something is draining you something is draining your energy that's why you are so serious and you don't even have the time to be playful you want to cut off something maybe a hobby maybe work maybe a program that you chose maybe a relationship uh, you know you want to cut it off whatever is causing the anxiety to you to protect your mental health to protect your soul and uh, you want to call back your power your ability to be happy your ability to you know have fun to have that your old self who can achieve so many things because this path that you're choosing is a little bit training to you you know and it's i want you to say that it's okay to let go of whatever you're you're facing so these are your hidden thoughts are you going to embrace and empower it or choose to release it i want you to i advise you to embrace it because it will make you happy to let go something that you didn't want at all maybe it's becoming so toxic i can tell and these the spirits are telling you to say no to something there's not much light in this path that you're going yep that's why you need to choose the light you need to choose what what makes you happy the most So we got the warrior woman card for your hidden physical needs. Okay, this card represents what you need to do for your well-being. You know, maybe your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. So the warrior woman says, have you answered your deepest calling? So in this case, uh it wants you to choose whatever is that whatever it is that is your life purpose it's the thing that you wanted to do the most something that will make you happy like genuinely genuinely happy you're being so serious because this one is not uh the one you wanted you're being serious because you want to be able to do this perfectly this something uh, but it's just draining you out you know life purpose is supposed to light up something inside you it's supposed to complete you it's supposed to bring you to a higher place but this one is not satisfying at all it is draining you it's sucking your life out that's why the cards want you to be you know to be playful to choose what feeds your soul 
you are here for a reason and uh, this is a warrior woman as you can see she is fearless she is ready for a war she is ready to face whatever it is that she fears and uh, I can tell that you need to face whatever it is that you fear to do you know cut the cords okay see your fears as an opportunity to expand opportunity to open a new path for you okay. instead of seeing that fear as holding you hostage which it is something today that you're cho that you're choosing is holding you hostage and you have to let go of that to be able to achieve this euphoria okay you need to be a warrior woman so now for the last card this will represent our ops this will represent our hidden spiritual desires it is what your soul wants to tell you but it has been unable to tell you after all sometimes there's a difficulty to communicate okay you got the Lemuria card. It's creating heaven and earth and it's happening. So this card, this card is connecting to all of your cards, you know? Lemuria is the Garden of Eden, I think. It's like the earth's lost lands long before uh, we are banished from the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve sinned. And so it it is where all creatures are equal, you know. It's really the most beautiful. It's like just heaven, but it's on earth, you know. And if you got this card, it means that you are holding the frequency of Lemuria on the places that you go. You know, you're bringing people to. A higher level you're creating something and contributing something that will make an earth a little bit a little more better to live in Lemuria is connected to all of your cards because once you cut the cards or once you let go of something that is draining you by facing your fears and you know, being a warrior, seeing it as an opportunity to be happy, choosing yourself, being the bright soul that you are, the bright star. You are going to be able to protect your people, to serve them the way they can serve you. And it's going to be a heaven and earth uh, by contributing something in the world that is, you know, that is purposeful, that is gonna be able to let you shine even brighter so the whole message of your uh of these spread something that you can see on the looking glass is that it's mesh its message is that you need to choose what makes you happy you know something answer your deepest calling what is it that makes you 100 percent complete uh what is your life purpose do it because you are so supported and you don't have to do it alone your fears are justified i but you don't have to worry about it because there's so much that's gonna happen to you the blessings are coming in once you chose yourself this time so Come on, let's ask another message, even though it's a really good one already. I can tell that there's more that the universe wants to tell you. So, oh, it's coming out on its own. Last one. Oops, we got a lot. So it says, I am busy right now. Can I ignore you some other time? That's what I said. Choose yourself first before other things maybe it's a relationship that is draining you that's why you need to let go ignore it 
choose yourself this time. See, you're angry. You're not having fun. Something is uh, draining you. Something is not right. So, escape the ordinary. You are an extraordinary soul. And you're bringing heaven to earth, which is already a very special task. You just have to believe in yourself. You know? Your fears are your opportunity to be a better person. So if you have an A on your name and letter E, then this is probably specific for you. You know, there's a reading. We have the word accountant. Maybe you have to do so. Maybe it has to do something with your financial position. You know, maybe you are in debt, and uh, whatever it is that you're investing to, it's just giving you more liability than an asset. It doesn't. It just drains your money. It's not really sustainable, and you have to let it go. Um. We have the word forever. Yeah. Goes with the word Lemuria. And it says don't. Oh, we have the two words to believe. Maybe you really have a difficulty to believe in yourself. That's why you're so serious. You know, you have insecurities. You have doubts. Uh, that is making you... Um, what do you say? That is making you difficult to play, have fun, because you want everything to be perfect. But life's not perfect. You just strive it to be, you know. You don't have to fear things. You just have to believe it will work. Because it will really work out well for you. So, yeah. Pile to you. Even though... Your cards were a bit difficult to to get. They are the most um, connected to each other. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, pile three. If you chose this ring, then this reading is for you. Okay. So, out of all the pile today, your cards were the most aggressive. You know, they were flying off the table. <laughs> so, you know, pile one had an extra card, but it was nor a normal shuffling. Pile two were the hardest to call out, you know, they were the most difficult to get out but you guys your cards were aggressive if pile 2 wants to stay hidden pile 3 wants you, you to know you know the light really wants you to know something it wants to reveal itself to you so now Pile 3, here are your cards. I want you to meditate on them, accept them, uh, take a look at them. Maybe there are direct messages that I won't be able to pick up after all. This is a general reading. So I want you to imagine yourself as Alice because this is a through the looking glass spread. Okay. okay let's start for uh the first card these are your hidden emotions you know what you hide to others or yourself that the, these emotions are being repressed or pushed aside and it's waiting for the right time for you to deal with it so we got the card play this it says a double mission channeling and uplifting humanity so play this are a group of star beings that are yeah they channel and uplift humanity so 
They are very chatty, so maybe you are expressive. I can tell that you want to be an you want to shine brightly, you know, to influence others, to share your voice, to give inspiration to the humanity. You're gonna bring a significant change on earth. You are a light. You are being a light to others, a guide, maybe a coach, a listener. A blogger, an influencer, a teacher, I don't know. But it's being suppressed. Whatever it is that how you want to serve or how you want to express yourself, you have a difficulty expressing that emotions to others. Maybe people know you as you know, as a silent person that you like to keep to yourself. This is you. You're afraid to shine brightly when you deserve to, you know, dazzle in the universe. Be one of the stars. You deserve to be one of the stars. But these emotions are being suppressed. So, so second, we got the card Hidden Thoughts. I mean hidden motivator these are hidden thoughts hidden motivator uh, it is why why are you doing what are you doing you know why are you feeling this why are you choosing this it's overall this is your hidden desire card so you got the card deep replenishment retreat rest and be held so you want to be replenished you want to rest the from these two cards, no, the way I see it is that you're empty inside. I, I can't feel anything from you. It's just really empty. It's not that lost. It's not confused. It's empty. Well, it's not really super empty. But if you got this card, it means that you're half filled. You know, your inner well is not full maybe it's half filled and you look for somewhere else to nurture you sometimes when we look for something that we're craving sometimes we end up in we end up in bad situations to make up for what we're craving you know healthy instead of choosing the healthy options we go from uh, bad addicting ones both of these cards want you to choose what refuels you what is the nectar for your soul what will make you shine to help others because I can sense that you want to help others you want to be uh, someone that others look up to but you can't do that unless you serve yourself first you know if you you need to take care of yourself first before taking care of others I think that your you being empty means that you are prioritizing others first than yourself and that needs to change okay so we got this third card this will represent your hidden thoughts you know it is the other side of the looking glass so we got the card sisterhood of the rose it says beauty and devotion priestess mystic teacher this really goes well with the card play this because this is a card that tells you to uh, create a path of devotion and beauty well I don't know why these thoughts are suppressed but it's a good thought and I want you to embrace them and empower them you know you want to create something that is really beautiful but before you can do that you have to take in the beauty around you and appreciate it before you can create it you can only create 
a beautiful path for others. You know, a very bright path for others if you take care of yourself. You need to dedicate yourself to choosing beauty first. You know, nurture your inner beauty first. Nurture yourself before nurturing others. So, yeah, that is a wonderful card. I want you to embrace and empower these thoughts, you know, that you can create something beautiful. You can create something that will help people, that will brighten you and beautify your life and other people's lives. But you have to nurture yourself first. You have to fill your heart with good things, not the bad things. Okay, we got the fourth card. It will represent your hidden physical needs. You know, what you need to do for your well-being. To be good physically, emotionally, uh, mentally. It says, don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? As I've said before, you're choosing to prioritize others before yourself. Maybe that's why you're empty. You're almost empty. You see your light. It's dimming. It's not as bright as this one. When you really need to be the bright star that you are meant to be. You know, flowers don't close to anyone passing by. Whoever it is, whatever kind of people they they encounter to good or bad they don't close their petals they show their beauty to everyone regardless and that should be you you know you need to keep shining because it in inspires others uh, you need to realize that creating beauty also in inspires others you know you're I can tell that you're draining because you want others to shine rather than you. However, relationship that lasts adapts to other people's energy. And if they're not right for you, then you're not right for them. Go find your other soul tribe because you have the Pleiades. You're gonna find the right people to be with you that won't let your light dim you're gonna shine together you know you're gonna uplift each other in this path of beauty and devotion so we got the last one it's your hidden spiritual desire so it is what your soul wants to tell you but it is unable to tell you you know, there's sometimes there's a miscommunication and difficulty. So, you got the Break the Chain card. Ancestral Patterns. Healing. Rewriting the Future. Oh, so I get it now. Maybe there is a norm. You know, a tradition. In the field that you're in. Or in a situation that you're in. That's why... You prefer to be selfless, and it's okay. It's beautiful to be selfless, but training yourself, dimming your light, it's not healthy at all for your soul. Your soul wants you to break the chain, because breaking the chain on this time of, on this generation, it's now uh, healthy to break the norms, you know. Maybe it will uplift humanity. Maybe you're the first one to ever do something controversial, but beautiful. Okay? You can rewrite your future. And then, if you manage to break the chain, you will get that healing. You know, that deep replenishment that your soul wants after all. What future do you want to write? Do you want to be left behind? 
or do you want to shine as you're meant to do you want to create beauty that you were meant to you know what patterns do you want to break free what are those traditions that are no longer serving purpose to the humanity know that you are guided by the universe and your soul desperately wants to tell you this that's why these cards were aggressive to get out <laughs> so now we can ask for more information maybe there are me other messages okay got this it says keep your head up see her head is up because she is confident that she can create beautiful things that will serve her purpose if you got a k an a on your name w or maybe it's a word look out for the words t i there's so many letters k and s oh s, s. If you have these maybe it can create words or these are your initials trust the message okay now you need to celebrate life see you need to see the beauty of of life appreciate nature appreciate every beautiful thing around you because being so drained you're you're starting to feel hopeless and now appreciate appreciating the beauty itself can replenish you after all your well is not filled with it's not yet full so now we have the relax uh yeah it really wants you to relax no deep replenishment keep believing need to believe that you can do it so that is your message pile three listen to it listen to your intuition and i want you to write a future that is so great that it will change the world you know your ideas and your life purpose are going to serve humanity well so thank you i hope this message finds you well and uh, don't forget to subscribe watch out for more bye